Guys, did you know that there are cable cars in London? And they're also known to have the best view in the city. It's fine. Five minutes later. It's so scary and dangerous. Hi, Curious Gang. It's Vasi, your London friend that shows you around, travels and talks about cultural differences. And today I'm going to take you with me to the Emirates cable cars, which I thought they just opened, so... I thought it's going to be super cool and new, but apparently they opened in 2012. But anyways, the moment that I found out, I immediately booked it because I want to show you and see if it's worth the hype or not. So fasten your seat belts and let's enjoy the ride. Let's go. <laughs> and I bet you want to ask me, where can you take these cable cars from? They're actually located in East London and they cross the River Thames in between the Royal Docks and the Greenwich Peninsula. Mask on and we're ready to go. And we decided to take it from Greenwich just because it's better connected with the Jubilee line and it took us like 20 minutes to get in there. Oh my god guys, here we are and this is a completely new part of London for us so it kind of feels like we're traveling and I'm honestly loving that. And just a couple of quick facts, now we are taking the cable car from Greenwich and after that we're supposed to go to Royal Docks and it will be I'm sure so beautiful and this is supposedly one of the best views in London and to be honest I feel like it might be better than the London Eye because you actually get to see way more. And that might be a little bit embarrassing but we have actually never been to the O2 so if you're in, in here it's also a good time to visit it. Just look at that. How big it is. Fun fact. I made a James Bond trailer for the O2. It was like, you know, shown at the O2 a while ago, I guess. Fun fact approved. And also there are quite a couple of cool restaurants in here as well. Loving this part of London because it's all so new and it quite feels like you're in a Nordic country as Ben says. It feels like the Netherlands or Denmark, look at that. And guys, because I thought that this is something super new, so I booked the tickets online and they costed eight pounds for, uh, for a round trip. But I actually saw after that that you can pay with your Oyster card or with your like normal contactless card and it actually might be easier. So if you're in here, do that. I'm quite excited because that's like the closest I have been to traveling and exploring new things this year. So we really hope you enjoyed as well. But the only thing is, there are slightly more people than what I expected. This is the queue at the moment. It goes here, up to there. If you see, after that, we're going to take them from there. Are you afraid of heights? Fine. Five minutes later. And this is the barcode on our tickets that we booked online and as I told you it actually took longer because we couldn't just tap with our Oyster card and go. They had to open the door for us. Ready for the ride? Yes. Oh my god! And guys, I left some of the comments that Ben made and part of our conversation just because I think it's too much fun. And if you enjoyed this video from London and you want to see more content from the city, travel related videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. It takes you like two seconds, but it means the world to me. Oh my God. How long is it? Are we done yet? Oh, 
kind of loving this, but Ben doesn't share my same thought. I'm so scared and dangerous. No, guys, don't listen to him. It's actually. I'm literally crying. Really? Yes. No. Okay, only do this if you only do this if you're very brave and you're not afraid of heights and, and the cabin movie. Oh my god, amore. We couldn't have chosen a more windy day. Oh my god, we're getting there. If this is the whole ride, I'm slightly disappointed because it's been like less than five minutes that we are here and apparently it's finishing. I was ready for a long one, you know? But it's okay. It was it was still beautiful. We made it. And that's how it looks on the other side of the river. Guys, do you hear that? Listen carefully. Yes, exactly that. It's the silence that we don't get in central London. It's crazy. <laughs> also, these houses, don't they really remind you of the Netherlands? Look at them. And a little fun fact for me, because, you know, I love fun facts. Basically, this is the most expensive cable car system that was ever built. And yes, you're right, it has Emirates in its name because it was sponsored by Emirates. The whole project cost 45 million to operate, which is a bit insane just because it takes you like four or five minutes for the whole journey. So every minute that you're there, it's one million. Insane. And out of this 45 million, Emirates covered 36 million out of the total cost. You guys, you can't imagine how chill is it here and when it's like, <gasps> you know, like the horror movies. It's so scary. Oh my god. And you know, Ben has no reason to be so afraid because it goes only up to 90 meters high. Okay, saying that, it sounds quite a lot, but trust me, it was very safe. And go check out these videos as well. Bye, love you all.